As a Grammy-nominated black harpist, Brandi Younger is somewhat of a unicorn, but she's been brave enough to carve her own path in the competitive music world. Success didn't just fall in her lap, she worked for it and trained for it. What I did was sort of create a niche because I wanted to play music that I was listening to mm -hmm. also, so I didn't want to necessarily pursue the traditional path all the way. Mm -hmm. So a combination of me doing the traditional stuff mm -hmm. and then doing what I wanted to do, that started to work itself out. Straddling the line between classic and contemporary is exactly where she likes to be. Now I feel more secure you know, yes. doing right. whatever I feel like, yeah. But it took a while to get there. Now that she's there, you could say she's arrived. I was nominated for a Grammy in the category of Best Instrumental Composition, which I learned that I'm the first black woman nominated nice. in that category. And the whole family came, and we had a blast. Good. Brandy's latest album is titled Somewhat Different. The first single, Reclamation, has garnered high praise for good reason. Brandy has worked with John Legend, Beyonce. One of my songs that I used in the Beyonce documentary, the most recent recording I did was Kanye. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm on Donda. Okay. Which I was really excited about because I'm a huge fan of his music. Her favorite thing to do is record. Well, you get another chance. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right. I would not think about it like that. So there are second chances when you record, but you're right. Okay. When you're playing a solo recital, mm -hmm. it's, it's one and done. Mm -hmm. Or a concert with other people, it's one and done. Mm -hmm. Although I will say there is an energy to live performance that you do not get in the studio. Mm -hmm. So that would be my second favorite. Oftentimes I'm playing with great musicians mm -hmm. and they're also my friends. Speaking of friends, Brandy and her quartet will be back on stage at the Blue Note on May 23rd. How do you like it as a venue? Oh, it's wonderful, of course. I always come into a venue and say, oh, we don't need the piano. <laughs> the piano was always the thing taking yeah. up all the space on yeah. the stage. Yeah, yeah. So at least I can come in and no piano, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. have some space. Yeah. But, you know, it's mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful crew there. Always paying it forward, Brandy teaches at NYU and the New School. She said buying a harp isn't cheap. They range from twenty to $80,000. During the pandemic, Brandy began a series of at-home streamed performances that turned out to be a huge hit. Brandy and bassist Desron Douglas share their music on the website Patreon.com. Before letting Brandy go, I wondered, are there any occupational hazards for harpists? And that's something people don't think about our cuticles, but if you look at string players, yes, we have calluses. Mm -hmm. um, we don't get finger cramps. I say back. Your back gets tired. Since practice makes perfect, it was only fitting for Brandy to play us out. This is what everyone thinks a harp can do. Uh -huh. It's a dream I know. sequence. I know. <laughs> and only we can do that. That's one thing the harp can do. Oh my no God, it sounds so weird. I wish you could just do it one more time. It's just making me smile one more time. One more time. <laughs> Crystal Young, Fox 5 News.